Hello everyone, welcome to my Radiology Share channel. I'm Dr. Thuấn from Cần Thơ University of Medical and Pharmacy. Today, I would like to present to you the 61st K on my fan page. You can join my fan page by searching the keyword DRTHUAN0908. I have the link to this case below my video. I will start with the frontal and lateral view. And uh, this, is the, um, this is the frontal view, this is the lateral view. And we can see a radiopacity structure in the right maxillary sinus uh, with the radiolucency in the center. And you can see radiolucency in, in the center. And if we can zoom in, you can see this is the radiolucency in the center. And you can see option the one three teeth in the upper dental arch. And the frontal sinus and the maxillary sinus are clear. And this is suggestive of an atopic tooth in the right maxillary sinus. A discussion. In one study, Young found that atopic eruption were approximately present three percent of the time. And uh, there are four possible causes, according to Chapman. There are small arches, deep and pass up the eruption of the permanent molar. The, the third lack of forwarding movement of on primary teeth. And the last one, the early eruption of the maxillary first permanent molars. But you can see more details in the link below my video. And in X-rays, we can see the radiopacity structure with radiolucency center consistent with the dental palm. And uh, we can see absent tooth in the upper dental arch. And the uh, different diagnoses are post sinusitis calcification and an osteoma. And the conclusion, this is a beautiful case of ectopic tooth in the right maxillary sinus. Thank you for your listening. If you have any questions, you can comment to my video. Thank you and see you next time.